Hi, I'm Anthony Bodega. Tokyo Mercedes Jenkins. Sir, I'm sorry, what's your name again? Hey, how you doing? I'm uh, Anthony. Anthony, nice meeting you, nice meeting you. Um, my name is actually Brittany, but you can call me B. Hey, how are um, you, Brittany? I'm great, and yourself? Doing pretty. So I look forward to working with you, but I really wanted to just kind of dive in a little bit. I understand that you're an educator, but can you tell me a little more about that? Yes, um, so I've been teaching for 14 years um, in a local school district. So a lot of students, you know, they didn't have the resources that they really needed especially for those who have those social and emotional issues. Um, we are, after we talked for about, you know, five or 10 minutes, um, he ended up, you know, talking about, you know, he was dealing with um, some challenges at home where, you know, he was being abused, um, not just from a physical standpoint, but also from a verbal standpoint. Ms. Jenkins, so glad to have you in my office today. I generally like to start off these sessions with um, getting to know a bit about your background. So can you tell me a little more about your upbringing? Okay. Well, when I was 16, I graduated from high school. Um, I was accepted into a pre-med program at a prestigious university. Mm -hmm. um, at the age of 17, I joined the army. Um, at a young age, I had a daughter. Mm -hmm. And um, as far as my relationship with my parents, uh, I was very rebellious. So I think that was the main reason why I joined the military. Um, were they too hard on you? Or? They were very, very strict. Okay. So I wanted to wanted to do what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. So that's when I made the decision to go out and join the military. And so through the military, I had the opportunity to travel to Germany and Honduras through wow. deployment. I want everybody to know I care about others. I mean, it's not just about me, it's about other people too. So, mm -hmm. um, the great philosopher Gandhi once said, be the change that you see in the world. Mm -hmm. So I, I stand by that every day. Well, what do you do for a living, Myron? Uh, we work on trucks. Really? Yeah. Okay, well, well, what do you do with the trucks? I. I, I, I fix the wheels. Okay. The wheels on the truck go round and round like a bus. All right, perfect. Well, um, I see that you're gainfully employed, um, and I'm, I'm happy of the opportunity. But um, can you tell me a little bit about what you've been doing? Have you been taking anything recently? Uh, I have milk, water. Nothing else. Um, do you have any history of drug abuse by, by any chance? No, I would never hit drugs. Are you sure, Mr. Bodega? I would never hit drugs. Hit drugs? If you ask me if I abuse drugs, mm -hmm. I would never hit drugs. Well, do you like, um... Mr. Bodega, did you bring your cat to the session? Yes. Cats are not allowed in my office, sir. He works with me on my truck. How does a cat work with you on your truck? He helps me. He sees things that no one else does. What's his name? His name is Milk. 